ఆర్మమెంటేరియం రిక్వైర్డ్ మెకెంటా షీట్ గ్రీన్ క్లాత్ పాలిషింగ్ క్లాత్ వ్యాక్స్ బ్లాక్ స్కేల్ లెక్రాన్ కార్వర్ గ్లౌస్ టేక్ అ వ్యాక్స్ బ్లాక్ అండ్ డ్రా మిడ్ లైన్ throughout the entire block extending to the flat surfaces draw midline similarly on all surfaces including the flat surfaces divide the block into three parts marking 10 mm for crown 17 mm for root and rest for base mark horizontal line for dividing crown root and base similarly divide on all sides mark one side as labial surface and the side just opposite to the labial surface is marked as palatal surface other two sides are marked as mesial and distal now divide the crown into three equal parts incisal middle and cervical draw two equal horizontal lines similarly draw the lines on all sides on mesial aspect of crown the shape of crown is triangular with base measuring 7 mm for a prominent cingulum draw two vertical lines at cervical third and draw a triangle in middle and incisal third with apex facing towards the incisal tip draw a similar triangle on distal side also carve the wax outside the marking in through and through manner similarly carve on other side the labial surface of crown is convex when viewed from proximal aspect now reduce a small amount of wax at prominent part to obtain a convex labial surface polish the surface to obtain a smooth convex labial surface the palatal surface of crown is concave convex with concave part in incisal and middle third and convex part for a prominent cingulum at cervical third now reduce small amount of wax at incisal and middle third on palatal side to obtain a concave surface polish it to obtain a smooth concave convex palatal surface
the labial surface of all anteriors has flat surface except canine it has prominent labial ridge to maintain a prominent labial ridge reduce the wax on proximal side to obtain the slope The mesial slope is shorter when compared to distal slope. On labial side, draw a pentagon with mesial distal diameter at cervix 5.5 mm and at middle third 7.5 mm and reduce the wax outside the marking Polish the surfaces. On palatal surface, mark midline. The concave portion of surface has two fossa on either side of the midline. The shape of the fossa is inverted triangle with apex towards cingulum. To carve the fossa by placing the straight edge of the carver towards the midline and curved edge away from the midline. Reduce small amount of wax. and polish the surfaces. Shape of the root is conical. To carve the root, mark the outline on labial and palatal surface. Reduce the excess wax outside the marking. Draw midline on Card portion of mesial and distal side.
Now mark the outline of the root. Reduce the wax outside the marking. Polish the surfaces of fruit. The labiolingual diameter should be broader than mesiodistal diameter. Mark cervical line on all sides. The curvature is towards root tip on labial and palatal sides and towards incisal edge on mesial and distal side. Draw developmental groove on both proximal sides. The developmental depression is more deeper in distal side.